Life. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Song Out of Space. This game was published by Radalaka Games, and it was developed by Pixel Noir Games. This visual novel was published by Radalaka Games, and it was developed by Pixel Noir Games. Now, typically these visual novels have settings that you can adjust to help fast forward through the game faster. However, this game does not have any of those settings, so we're simply just going to press New Game. Do keep in mind though, you can fast forward or skip in this game. However, you actually have to hold down RB or R1 on PlayStation rather than just tapping it like with some other visual novels. So you are going to have to hold down RB anytime you want to skip during this game. This game released on February 3rd, 2022. I'd actually completed it a few weeks ago. However, I'm barely getting around to editing my footage and voicing over the guide for you guys. This is a super easy visual novel. It's only going to take about 20-25 minutes to get your full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. And on top of that, the game is only $4.99. As always, I'll have a link down in the description below if you're interested in picking it up. Now, before we get started on the video guide, I want to give a shout out to the written guide that I used to make my video. I got it from ps3imports.com and it was written by somebody named Chromesaw. I'll leave a link down for this written guide in the description below. Other than that, let's go ahead and dive into it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start up a new game. There's two different characters, and we're going to have to play through the game twice to be able to go through both of their stories. But even if, it's still not going to take that long. We're going to start off by playing as Catherine Armstrong. This is going to unlock our first achievement. Now, we want to start off by selecting the top option. Sorry, I forgot. Then you want to choose the top option again. It says there was no other way to avoid the war. After that, you want to press the hand, and then you want to press all three magnifying glasses. After that, go ahead and click the text bubble, and click the top option. It says, these people were murdered. After that, go ahead and select the fourth option. It says, so what do you want us to do? After that, select the second option. It says, I understand. We'll go immediately. Next, you want to press the shoes icon and then click the text bubble. After that, select the third option, remain silent. Then the second option, remain silent. And then the second option again, I think we did just right. After that, go ahead and click the hand icon. We're going to choose the third option, anything is fine. Then go ahead and choose the top option, turn it off. We're going to click the magnifying glass. And then click the shoes. After that, select the top option. It says, we're from the FBI, yes. Then choose the top option again. We just got here and have no details yet. And then the top option, I'm glad you came, Sheriff. And then the third option, remain silent. Next, we want to choose the very bottom option. It says, we'd like to check the crime scene. Then choose the fifth option, I'll proceed to the crime scene. And then press the first option, enter first. After that, you want to click the hand icon. And then the shoes icon. And next, we're going to choose the top option. I'm done with this place. And then the fourth option, any theories. Then you want to choose the top option. You seem pretty convinced he's guilty. Go ahead and select the magnifying glass icon. And then the shoes icon. After that, choose the top option. Sure, I'll unlock the door. Go ahead and click the hand icon. And then choose the top option. It's a strong possibility. Choose the top option again. What do you mean? Then choose the third option. Then we need to solve this case quickly. After that, we want to choose the second option. It says, I'm not sure. Then go ahead and click the hand icon. 
this little cutscene is going to start and there's no way to skip this, so you're just going to have to stay put until we get another dialogue choice. And then the shoes icon. After that, click the top option, let's focus on the job, and then the top option again. I think it'd be better if we went together. Next, we want to choose the third option, yeah, all good. Then choose the second option, good advice. After that, we want to go ahead and make our first save. Go ahead and save it in save slot one. All right, next we want to go ahead and press the shoes icon. We want to go ahead and select the top option, Carrie Kowalski the widow, and then go ahead and click the hand icon. After this, we're going to choose the third option. This won't take you too much time. Then you want to choose the fifth option. I think I have everything I need. After that, go ahead and choose the second option. What happened next? And then the second option again. Who knows? This is going to unlock our next achievement or trophy. And now we can go ahead and quit back to the main menu. What we want to do is go ahead and load up that save that we made. So go ahead and load save slot 1. And we're going to start off by clicking the shoes icon. Next we want to choose the second option, Daniel Brown, the reporter. Then go ahead and click the hand icon. And then the top option, yes I am, which is a lie. And then you want to choose the top option, I wanted to talk with Daniel Brown. After that, go ahead and select the text bubble. And then we want to choose the third option, secretary, you mean your mom. After that, select the fourth option, was there anything strange going on with the scientists? Then go ahead and choose the top option, so there were fans of your work, huh? Then you want to go ahead and choose the top option, why would they ever think that? Then we want to choose the second option, tell me more. Then the second option again. But then, why were the scientists there? And then the top option, that's a hell of a conspiracy you've made up. This is going to unlock our next achievement or trophy. And then we want to go ahead and click the shoes icon. After that, click the top option, share what you've learned. And go ahead and click the shoes icon. After that, we're going to choose the top option, can he wait until tomorrow? And then the second option, let's go. After that, go ahead and click the hand icon, and then the shoes icon. After that, we could choose the top option, first tell us what happened. Top option again, did you see him? Top option again, do you mind if we check the scene? Top option again. What should I do meanwhile? After that, go ahead and click the right magnifying glass and then choose the top option again. Can these be locked from the outside? Go ahead and choose the top option. It's a possibility, yes. After that, you wanna click on the right magnifying glass and then the left magnifying glass and then click the left hand. After that, we could choose the top option how many gunshots did you hear? Choose the top option again. The shot came from this weapon. Choose the top option again. Was he troubled recently? After that, click the hand icon. And choose the top option. Crane had the tape that was missing. Choose the top option again. I have no idea. Top option again. Yeah, the window was the only way in. Top option again, he just enjoys spilling blood. Top option again, like this, show the tape. Top option again, maybe he was involved in the murders. This is going to trigger our fourth achievement or trophy. And next you want to choose the top option, keep on pressuring him. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and press start and make your second save. Go ahead and save it in save slot 2. After you make your second save, we're going to go ahead and interact with the hand icon. Next, we want to choose the second option. 
It says, yes, please tell me what's on it. After that, choose the top option. Tell me what's happening. Choose the top option again. Are they arguing? Top option again. What kind of signal? And as you can imagine, top option one more time. What's going on? This is going to trigger our fifth achievement or trophy. And at this point, we can go ahead and quit back to the main menu. And we want to go to load and load up our most recent save, which is save slot 2. After that, interact with the hand icon. And this time, we're going to choose the third option. I don't think any of us should. Choose the third option again. Trust me, don't listen to the tape. And then you want to choose the top option. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. This is going to trigger our sixth achievement or trophy. And next, we want to click the shoes icon. Then the hand icon. Then the crosshair icon. And then the shoes icon. After that, choose the top option, freeze. Choose the top option again. There was someone here. Go ahead and interact with the shoes icon. And next, we want to make another save. So go ahead and go to save and save in save slot three. After you make your third save, go ahead and interact with the shoes. Press the top option. Who the hell are you? Press the top option again. Okay, but don't try anything. Press the top option again. Forrester, you're under arrest. Top option again. What's on that tape? Top option again. How did you survive? Top option again. No way. You're under arrest. This is going to trigger our seventh achievement or trophy. That achievement worth 90 gamer score should be popping any moment. It's called the bodyguard worth 90 gamer score for getting saved by your partner. And next we want to choose the top option. I'm glad you arrived then. Top option again, okay, I'll wait. And top option one last time for break it. This is going to trigger our eighth achievement or trophy. And that's going to give us one of our endings. Next, as you can imagine, we need to go to load and load up our third save, the most recent one. After you load it up, go ahead and click the shoes icon. And then we want to press the top option, who the hell are you? Then the top option again, okay, but don't try anything. Then the top option again, Forrester, you're under arrest. Top option again, what's on that tape? Top option again, how did you survive? Top option again, no way, you're under arrest. If you miss the opportunity, you can load up your save and start again. But if you press the crosshair in time, you'll unlock your next achievement or trophy. This one's called Summary Execution, worth 90 gamer score for killing Nicholas Forrester. And after it unlocks, we can go ahead and quit back to the main menu. Alright, so we're going to start up a new game this time. And this time we're going to choose the opposite character, uh, the male. His name is Stuart Ross. So go ahead and click him. That's going to unlock our 10th achievement or trophy. We're starting the game as Stuart. And then we're going to choose the top option. Maybe I could teach you a few new tricks. And then we want to select the top option again. There's no other way to avoid war. And then we want to go to interact with the hand icon. And then interact with all three magnifying glasses. Next you want to press the text bubble. Then choose the top option, what the hell, this is insane. Then you want to choose the fourth option, so what do you want us to do? Choose the second option, I understand, we'll go immediately. After that, go ahead and click the shoes icon, and then the text bubble. Next we want to choose the top option, do you have a problem with me? Then choose the top option again, what's that supposed to mean? Then choose the top option again. McConnelly is an idiot. I'm nothing like him. Then you want to choose the top option again. You don't know that for sure. Times are changing. Then go ahead and click the hand icon. Choose the second option. Do nothing. Go ahead and interact with the magnifying glass. And next, interact with the shoes icon. 
We're going to choose the top option. We're from the FBI. Yes. Choose the top option again. We just got here and have no details yet. Choose the second option. You were a bit rude, Sheriff. Then you want to choose the sixth option. I believe it's the bottom option. We'd like to check the crime scene. After that, choose the top option. I'm Ross, and she's Agent Armstrong. Next, you want to choose option five. I'll proceed to the crime scene. Then you want to interact with the hand icon and then the shoes icon. After that, we're going to choose the top option. I'm done with this place. Go ahead and choose the fourth option, any theories, and then the top option. You seem pretty convinced he's guilty. Go ahead and interact with the magnifying glass. And then the shoes icon. And then finally the hand icon. Next we're going to choose the top option. We've just arrived from the crime scene. Choose the top option again. We don't think it was the Russians. Going to choose the top option. Yes sir. Go ahead and click the hand icon. And we're going to end up in another scene where we're just going to have to wait for it to end. Uh, there's really nothing you can do at this point. and then the shoes icon. After that, you wanna press the top option, find anything useful, then choose the top option again. Yeah, he wants the case solved fast. Choose the top option, that's a terrible suggestion, and then choose the third option. I know who to interrogate, don't worry. After that, interact with the shoes icon, and we wanna choose the top option. Call my contacts at the AF. Go to interact with the hand icon, and choose the top option. Can I speak with Mr. Maine? After that, choose the fourth option. I'm calling from his hotel, which is a lie. Then you wanna choose the second option. We found his government ID at the lobby, another lie. And then choose the top option, Paul Maine. Choose the top option, your secretary gave it to me. Choose the top option again. What can you tell me about the Fairchild Air Force Base? Choose the top option. There have been some murders. Choose the top option. Let's meet in person then. Choose the top option again. In Gardner, in the state of Washington. Going to interact with the shoes. Next, choose the top option. Says, look at me. Is this what you call discreet? Choose the top option. You look like a bank robber. Choose the top option. Did you bring any of those files? Choose the top option again. Says, okay, okay, what did they say? Choose the top option. So what about the dead scientists? Choose the top option, like static noise. Choose the third option, where do the scientists fit into all of this? We're going to choose the top option, and since that didn't stop them, they got them killed. Next, we want to choose the top option. Thanks for your help. Top option, once again, I'll be back in a minute. And that's going to trigger our 11th achievement or trophy. And next you want to interact with the shoes icon. And then you want to choose the third option, your camera, now. And then for our last choice, we want to choose the second option to smash the camera. This is going to trigger our final achievement or trophy, giving us the full 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy. That's the that was uncalled for achievement worth 90 gamer score. Let's just go ahead and double check the guide. And yup, we got the full 1000G out of 1000G. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Bengsa, Cursed Souls, and GamertagNation.com. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.